So if you guys have been following my YouTube channel, you most likely know I've been experimenting with FPV systems for some time now, and I think I've finally come across my preferred system of choice, um, and that would be 2.4 gigahertz on channel 8. Um, the channel 8 part makes all the difference. Uh, I did a video a little while ago about cha channel 8 versus channel 0. You can go check that out if you haven't already seen it. Um, but 2.4 gigahertz, channel 8, 500 milliwatt um, for the transmitter power output. That has worked out really, really well for me. I believe that's also what some of the really well-known FPV people like Trappy use and stuff like that, except they use different brands of, of stuff. So anyways, um, the system that I like the most is sold by FoxTechFPV.com. This is the receiver, um, and you can get uh, the receiver and transmitter for about $70. Um, so it's a really good deal from them. Here's the receiver. Um, they, it comes with the 3 dBi omnidirectional antennas. Um, one of the things I like the most about this receiver is one, it's really small. As you can see, it's like really small. Um, another thing is it has two video, um, two video outputs. Um, so if you just get another one of these cables, you can maybe like hook one to your goggles and one to your recording device. Um, and then 12 volts in right there. Um, so it's a very compact, small receiver. It doesn't really get hot at all when you're using it, so that's good. Anyways, this is just really good quality. And I think these are around $26 or so, maybe a little more than that. I don't know. Somewhere around there. So these are pretty cheap. But the entire system, the transmitter and receiver, is about 70 bucks. Now moving on to the transmitter. 500 milliwatt, as I already said. Um, it also comes with the same 3 dBi omnidirectional antenna. Um, this is the transmitter. It's a little more bulky than some of the Lawmate transmitters that are also 500 milliwatt. Um, but I've I've managed to break two of these in the past like two months. Uh, a bad thing about these is if you buy them in the U.S., they come locked on channel zero, so you can't go to channel eight. So I don't use those anymore. But Here's my um, Fox Tech Hobby one, 500 milliwatt. You can't really change the channels on these, so it's on channel 8 for good pretty much, which I have absolutely no problem with. I would actually prefer that. It's got a nice big heat sink on the top, and it's all shrink-wrapped. And then the plugs here, as you can see, um, it's got ground power, which is 12 volts, and then um, video is the yellow. And then these are just audio channels, but it's also got another plug for a 12 volt in. So you can have power from your battery coming in here, and then this will go out and power your camera. So this is a very nice transmitter. I like it a lot, and it also has a built-in microphone. So that's another plus. Um, we're also going to take a look at this little camera that I got from Fox Tech Hobby. This is my micro drone, and this is the FH18C. Uh, it's a micro camera from Fox Tech Hobby. Uh, it is a 520 line camera, so it's pretty good resolution. Um, and it is a CMOS sensor, CMOS. It's not a CCD sensor. Um, the downside to that is that it's a little bit more prone to vibration, so I have it mounted on a piece of foam here um, so that vibrations won't affect it as much because if you do get vibrations with these, they get some like waves in the video. Um, but the colors are better on a CMOS or CMOS sensor. It comes with a 3.6 millimeter lens, but I put a 2.1 millimeter lens on it. Um, just because I like to fly with wider angle of view. Um, some people like the narrower lenses, but that's just a personal preference, so you can do whatever you want there. Um, this camera runs off 12 volts. It's got a voltage step down like right behind the camera on that little board. Um, it weighs 8 grams, so it's really, really light. Um, and this camera costs about $28, so it's pretty cheap for how good quality it is. So here is some video taken with this camera on my micro drone. So range wise with this setup, um, I have gone 1.7 miles with the stock antennas, um, the 3 dBi omnidirectional antennas. 1.7 miles is not bad with these little antennas. Um, if you want to upgrade to like a patch antenna, I also have an 8 dBi patch antenna that I use. But with the stock antennas, 1.7 miles is pretty good. Um, I did that with the, my micro drone here. Um, here's some video of it flying. When I got out really far, it did the video did tend to get a little bit 
fuzzy. Um, that could have just been from my receiver setup because I have a really long wire going from my receiver to my um, my viewing screen. So that could have been the the little kind of bit fuzzy video could have been from that just interference in that. But overall, um, I've gone the farthest I've gone with this transmitter is three point. Uh, I think it was 3.8 miles. Um, that's the farthest I've gone. Uh, so anyways, this is a really good little FPV system. It's pretty cheap too. It's cheaper than most systems. Um, cheaper than a lot of the systems that you can get in the US like LawMate or anything like that. Um, it's very good quality and I just like it so much that I thought I'd do a little review video and let some of you guys that haven't um, really been much experienced with FPV um, know what a good system is. So anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.